thank you uh, to you for um, inviting me to come and join with all of you. Uh, my name, as uh, you know, is Jenny Kwan, and I'm a member of Parliament for Vancouver East. Uh, and I want to give a special welcome to all the new arrivals. Uh, some of you might have arrived, I guess, almost a year now uh, uh, from Syria, and others uh, might uh, have come um, from a different place uh, and through a very long journey. And so Canada, as you know, is a multicultural uh, community, uh, country, and so we are made up and, and we are the faces of the world. So I'm very delighted uh, to see all of you here in Canada. Uh, as a whole, welcome all of you as well. ترحب بكم هو جدا وخصوصا اللاجئين الكندي السوريين اللي صار لهم سنه او اكثر وايضا قالت انه تعرفون انه كندا هي مختلط للحضارات ومزاج الحضارات والباك جراوند مال كل الشعوب يجون يعيشون هنا في كندا فترحب بكم كل شيء هواي واهلا وسهلا بكم. So one of the first things that, that I did when I was elected uh, as a member of parliament in the House of Commons prior to the arrival of uh, Syrian refugees I made a motion in the House of Commons and it was supported by every single member of uh, Parliament uh, in the House of Commons to uh, welcome all of you and to say how happy we are uh, that, uh, that you are here uh, in joining Canada uh, as, as a, a new member of our community. So I want to make sure that you have that message. We also know and I also know that the journey for resettlement is not an easy one. For many of you may have loved ones uh, that are still back home that you're very worried about. And so uh, the resettlement process, some of you are still uh, you know, uh, wanting to get into different programming of supports uh, and you're still on a wait list to, to get into that. Uh, and so the challenges and resettlement uh, uh, challenges ahead are not easy and I fully understand that as well. بداية أنا من محاوس الصدف إنه وعد ما متخوني أول مرة أنا أكون عضو في البرلمان الكندي في وقتها كنت قدم وكانت في وقت قدوم اللاجئين السوريين الوجبة الأولى كنت قدمت في البرلمان طلب إنه يرحبون بكل اللاجئين وبالفعل تم من مصادفة والموافقة على من كل أعضاء البرلمان الكندي بغض النظر عن أحزابهم والكل وافقة وقدموا على هذا الطلب أو بحيث نحسسكم انه احنا في كندا نرحب بكم ككنديين جدد ان شاء الله في هذا البلد اللي هو مختلط فيه الديمقراطيه او الحريه لكل شخص ان يعيش بسلام. And just by way of background I'll be very brief with this to give you um, some, share some information about me um, for you. I'm an immigrant uh, as well so I came to Canada as a new arrival uh, when I was a little girl many years ago. And uh, when we first came, um, my mother uh, was a homemaker in Hong Kong, where I came from, and took care of the six kids. So I come from a large family, like many of your families. So eight of us, eight of us all came together. Uh, and it was that tough. It was a struggle. It, we have a tough time finding housing. Uh, we have a tough time for my parents to find work. Uh, they had a tough time learning English as a second language. And my mother, for the first time, went to the workforce and worked as a farm worker, and she made $10 a day to help support the family. <laughs> the struggles are not easy, and uh, while I'm not a refugee, but I've certainly traveled, certainly traveled the road of uh, being a new arrival uh, as an immigrant in this country. هي تقدم مختصر شيء عن حياتها حتى تقولكم انه كيف جت هي لكندا هي كان عمرها كانت طفله صغيره اعتقد هناك باللقاء كان عمرها سبع او تسع سنوات من اجت لكندا اجت من عائله كبيره ايضا من الصين من هونغ كونغ عائله عددها ثمان نفرات هي واخوانها خمسه وامها وابوها كانت امها ربت بيت تقول ومن اجينا الامر مو سهل صعب ايضا وواجهنا كل جدا صعوبات كبيره اضطرت امها ان تشتغل في المزارع يعني شغل صعب جدا وكل اللي تحصل عليه 10 دولارات باليوم في ذاك الوقت وايضا واجهنا الحياه واستمرينا ووصلت الى ما وصلت له. So just to simply say this as well that um, you know as a young girl who came didn't speak a word of English uh, I can have the opportunity and the privilege to be a member of parliament today uh, is really because of the Canadian society and what this community and what this country can offer all of us. So hopes and dreams is what life is made of. 
and you have taken so much uh, courage from the challenges that you face to come to a new country with new hopes and dreams, right? And you did this for your family, for the betterment of your family. And so we as Canadians, we hope to help you in every way that we can so that you can succeed in this journey and whatever that, uh, whatever it is that you hope to achieve. Thank you. وتحقيق هذه الأمنية كانت أمنية وطموح وبالفعل وكل هذا وصلت إلى هو بالفعل النسيج أو الأصوات الكنديين أو المجتمع الكندي اللي استطاع أن يوصل إلى هذه المرحلة أيضا. So we just finished a session uh, not far down the road uh, at the Friendship Center with uh, a large number of um, uh, new arrivals. I guess not so new now because they've been here for a year, some of them longer than that. And they share with me some of the struggles that they were faced with. Uh, many of them uh, have not been able to get into English as a second language classes so that they can learn the language to get into the workforce. Um, many of them are very worried about their family members back home, uh, their you know, siblings, uh, in-laws, parents, and so on. And, uh, and they have no capacity and ability to bring them here. And they were very worried about it and wanted to find a way to help bring them here. طبعا بالمناسبة اليوم كان يوم حافل بالنسبة لها بدأت من الصبح بالمسلم فود دينج نوزع وبعدين رحنا إلى مركز الصداقة قبل شوية كانت في مركز الصداقة أيضا التفت في مجموعة كبيرة من العوائل وطرحوا همومهم ومشاكلهم اللي هي اللي قسم من عدهم يعني لحد الآن ما هم حصلين على فرصة أن يتعلمون أو يدخلون باللغة الإنجليزية قسم من عدهم يعني همومهم من كيف يجمعون شمل أسرهم وعوائلهم فمرت يعني قسم من الأجل من الأسئلة استطاعت أن تجاوب عليها قسم من عدها ومن من ما تستطيع أن تجاوب عليها مباشرة فلذلك هي حتى تقول لكم أنه مرت بهذه الخبرة الآن الآن اليوم هذا إن شاء الله. So I explained to them that under the Canadian immigration policy, um, what we need to happen is for the government to recognize a different definition of families in your community as in mine as well. We have extended families. So those that are not your immediate family and how the Canadian government defines immediate means your spouse and your children. Those individuals are your immediate family members. But if they're not your spouse or your children who is not an adult, they are deemed to be not your immediate family. And so for you to try and find a pathway for the, them to come under the current immigration policy for refugees, there isn't really a pathway that would allow for that. Good, طبعا تحت القوانين الهجرة الكندية أو تحت قانون الكندي أكو تعريف للعائلة. العائلة المباشرة اللي هي الزوج والزوجة والأطفال اللي هم دون سن ال 18 خلينا نقول إذا تجازوا هذا العمر يعتبرون عائلة مستقلة. وبالتالي الأخ والأخت ما يعتبرون عائلة يعني إحنا في تعبيرنا العربي أو الميدل إيست أو حتى عندهم تعتبر عائلة بس بالواقع بالتعريف الكندي ما تعتبر عائلة مباشرة تعتبر عائلة مستقلة وبالتالي مسألة جلبهم لهنا أنا تحتاج لها وقت ومو سهلة واقعا هي فتقول بصراحة المسألة مو سهلة مثل ما نصورها مثل ما نقدر نجيب مثلا العائلة المباشرة أو اللي هم الأبن واللي الأطفال طبعا أو الزوج والزوجة so uh, under uh, the one year window of opportunity um, program, refugees can make application for immediate families within the first year after they have arrived. But if they're not an immediate family, you can't make that application, which is very, very challenging for a lot of people. إلى حتى نقدم طلب لنجيب العائلة المباشرة إلى وصلة القرابة المباشرة اللي هم الأبناء دون سنة 18 الأطفال مثلا الزوج والزوجة خارج هذا الإطار راح يكون من الصعب أو أصلا يمكن حسب ما كان يكون عدد لهم ما مقدمة كان يكون عائلة مباشرة قدمة بطلب آخر so one thing that I have been doing in the House of Commons and that committee is to call for the government to change that policy to change the policy in recognition in different cultures, we define families differently. So, um, so that's one thing that we want to push for, 
and I will be very vigilant to try and see if we can get that policy changed. العائلة تكون المباشرة تضم مثلا الأخ أو الأخت أو أو العائلة الإفطار اللي هم 18 مناطق وبالتالي هي تعمل أن تضع يعني ضغط على الحكومة في تغيير هذه الفقرة من القانون من قانون الهجرة الكندي. Now this is possible I believe. Why do I say that? When we came, when my family immigrated to Canada, I was our family. We were sponsored by my aunt. So. I came under the definition of siblings on family reunification, and we were able to come to Canada under that kind of sponsorship. So Canada did it before. I'm an example of that. My family is an example of that. So that means that policy can change. And what we've got to do is to get the government to recognize the need for change and why we need to extend the definition of family to beyond the immediate from spouse and children. كل هذا القانون بالإمكان تغييره بدليل إنه أنا من إجيت إجيت عمتها هي كافلتهم وبالتالي كان أكو قانون في كندا قبل أن يتغير إنه تقدر العائلة أن تجيب أخو الأخ 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 كذا العائلة اللي هي الأكبر لما فهمنا لما فهمنا العام. الآن تغير القانون وأصبح لا بس ضم الأولاد والزوج والزوجة وبالتالي هي الآن تعمل أن ترجع القانون القديم كما كان وبالتالي بالإمكان أن يجمع شمل العائلة الأبعد شوي. So in Canada we live in a place where we have democracy. Democracy means that you can get the government to change the policies. You have the right to speak up and to call for the government to make those changes. I am doing that as an opposition member. I would invite you, if you think that this policy needs to change, to send a message to your member of parliament, uh, to the prime minister, to call for that change. And together, if we can grow a voice, and a strong enough a voice, I believe that we can get the policy changed. And that's democracy. يمكن سمعنا صوتنا علينا أن نوصل صوتنا إلى الحكومة بهذا المفهوم بهذا العمل مع بعض هي المعارضة ممكن توصل هذا الصوت إلى أعلى مستوى بالتالي ممكن أن نحصل على عملية تغيير طبعا إيصال صوتكم هو عن طريق أعضاء البرلمان من المنطقة اللي أنتم عايشين بها الأنبياء لهنا لأن كل منطقة هي بأفون حسب أنتم وين عايشين أكو أعضاء ممكن توصلون صوتكم إلهم هسه هو راح تقول لكم شو عن طريق عشان so with that, uh, I will close here, and I will, uh, I guess, invite uh, you to ask me some questions, uh, if you have some questions. And I want to say thank you to Nori, who's been translating for me yeah. all day today, yeah. and he's superb. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.